Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, we've been doing pruning videos all day, and the very last one is the espalier trees. <music> So, if you watched the last video, I explained what I was going to do with these, and it's pretty simple. Anything that's not already on a wire, like this, that's just going nowhere. I'm going to remove all of that stuff. Like this one has the potential to go onto this wire, this one has the potential to go onto that wire. So, I'm going to leave those. But, especially these big ones here, I'm going to shave those right down to the bark. I'm going to be removing all these tags a little bit later. But, for now, we'll concentrate on getting these pruned. A lot of stuff to prune off on this one. And, this one has two nice branches up at the top. We're going to be loosening, well, we're going to be taking all of these off and just putting like two or three on each one of those. And then we'll start to retie it as it grows. Which one is this? This is the Wolf River. This was started from a cultivar that was found along the Wolf River here in Wisconsin. And this one. This one does not look as good. These would probably give us some apples. I don't know. This is only its second year, so it's probably not going to produce any apples anyways. This is like a perfect branch coming straight off the side. But as far as the other side goes, it would have to be this or this. It's definitely not going to be that. That's going to be cut off. All this stuff's going to be cut off. That may work its way over. And at the top, I'm probably going to cut this off down here and let one of these grow up. And hopefully this one will go up and over. Otherwise, I got to go way down to there. All right. Well, this is not going to take very long, so let's go get the pruning shears. Let's identify this one right away. This is Freedom. These trees were bit by the rabbits this winter. I haven't checked on that yet, but I'm thinking they're okay. We'll find that out as well. Well, I don't know if we'll find that out today. Today is all about pruning. These branches got pretty big and I want them as close to the trunk as possible so we're going to saw them. doesn't want to saw very well. Okay. You hate to do all this damage to a little tree, but Especially when it's been mangled by some rabbits over the winter. But it is what it is. As I've said before, if any of these trees die, 
Just plant a new one and start over. I want these branches very flush with the trunk. And if I remember, I'll show you how that looks later on. But the scar will just completely heal right over. And there won't be a little stump sticking out. far down. I think I could get that with the... I'm gonna leave this one. I may be able to get that one down to the wire. I would rather not, but it all depends on what these do once they start budding out. And the tree finds out that it doesn't have any branches. It'll start sending out buds from the trunk. Okay, I think that's it for this one. Like I said, I'll leave that and that. Yeah. That's one. And then this one. now next year or possibly even this year these will grow suckers right at those nodes with grapes if you shave it close enough it loses its ability to send a sucker up from there but I don't think that's true with apple trees. I shouldn't have did that. It'll be fine though. Getting sloppy, in a hurry. And we'll leave that off, cut that off, and cut that off. Okay, now just got to wait and see what happens with these. Okay, that's going to wrap up the dwarf orchard pruning videos. Yeah, this took like, I believe it's been seven or eight hours now. Long time, but I believe I did a fairly good job. That Big Mac looks really nice, as does the Honeycrisp there. The other ones being their first prune, they really have no shape yet, but I think I did a fairly good job with them. And these, that remains to be seen. I think I'm gonna come in here with a razor knife and take some of this bulge off. Yeah, I do believe I'm gonna do that. 
I'll do a little bit on this one as well. But I think these are going to be real good as well. Only time will tell. And I'll be putting out some updates on these throughout the summer. And we'll be planting two new trees. So if you want to see any of that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.